Chandra had never been into girls. Her crushes, and she had a fair share, were mostly brawny and decidedly male. Yikes. Let me just bookmark that real quick. Since we're all stuck inside reading books right, I've compiled a list of the top 10 best magic cards to be bookmarks because there's so many cards and so many arts to choose from. Here, take your pick. But first, let's get through some honorable mentions. Library of Latinam is four and a blue for a sorcery that reads, target opponent chooses one. You draw three cards at the beginning of your next turn's upkeep or search your library for a card, put that card into your hand and then shuffle your library. Besides hitting your friend in the head with the force because this guy straight up looked like Hayden Christensen from the Star Wars prequels, drawing three cards on the next turn's upkeep for five mana or tutoring for one card for five mana is pretty dookie dog great. But it's got some pretty funny art, so it, it lands on the honorable mentions list. And next we have Library of Alexandria, which is an insane card. It's a land that enters the battlefield untapped, taps out a one colorless mana to your mana pool, and it can tap to draw a card, but you can only activate this ability if you have exactly seven cards in your hand, which really doesn't matter though, because you still get free card draw on a land. This card is crazy good, and I like you would be it would be amazing bookmark, but currently it's sitting over a over a thousand dollars. So for that reason alone, it's gonna be on this honorable mention list just due to the accessibility. And with that settled, let's move on to the list. So starting with number 10, we got Goblin Lore. Goblin Lore is one in a red for a sorcery that reads, just draw four cards and discard three cards at random. This dude is ripping through his book. This card is the perfect bookmark for people who read books like this. <laughs> So this is why this card is perfect for people with goobly go goblin brains like me. Coming in at number 9, we have Frantic Search. Frantic Search is 2 and a blue for an instant that reads, draw 2 cards, then discard 2 cards, untap up to 3 lands. So besides being an amazing looting effect that basically pays for itself with untapping up to 3 lands, this card is an amazing bookmark because his artwork is chock full of easter eggs that are probably more interesting than the book you're reading itself. So to quickly go through all of them, we have Sarpedian Empires Volume 7, The Book of Rass, Cogworkers Puzzle Knot, Decoction Module, Ice Manipulator, Spellbook, Sensei's Dividing Top, Aether Vial, The Old Frantic Search Art, Grimoire of the Dead, Charm School, Walking Archive, and Artificer's Assistant. Phew, and all credit to Lorely Writes on Twitter for finding all of these because I know I would never have found any of these, so go give them a follow. Next up at number 8, Scrib Nibblers. Scrib Nibblers is a 1-1 one, one for 2 and a black that's a rat that says, Tap, exile a top card of target player's library. If it's a land card, you gain one life. And it has a landfall that says, Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may untap Scrib Nibblers so you can start eating more pages out of your opponent's libraries or even your library. I am obsessed with these little rats. They can nibble through my copy of A Diary Wimpy Kid 2, Roger Rules, any freaking day. But other than that, this card sucks. But it does really shine through on the bookmark front, so that's why it's landing in at number 8. The number 7 best bookmark in Magic's history is Anime Library. Animate Library is a silver bordered enchantment from Unstable that reads 4 and 2 blue, enchant your library. Enchanted Library is an artifact creature on the battlefield with power and toughness equal to the number of cards in it. It's still a library. If the Enchanted Library would leave the battlefield, exile Animate Library instead. So this card's hilarious because imagine going to your local library and have it coming alive and smack you around with all the books and shelves and librarians it can find but besides that this card is just an amazing effect in magic that's never been seen before it's, it's possibly hilarious and that's why it's like an uncard but you can't play uncards anywhere in magic besides in like unsanctioned or something so that's why this card shines as a bookmark because we can't really use it anywhere else coming up next at number six is book devourer book devourer is five and a red for a four or five creature beast with Trample, and it reads, Whenever Book Devourer deals combat damage to a player, you may discard all the cards in your hands, and if you do, draw that many cards. So, besides looking like the Pinky Demon from Doom, the art on this card is hilarious. This beast is just walking into this dude's tent on Ravnica and just devouring all this guy's book, you know, in, in the flavor text, he's eating his first edition of the Abacus and the Urchin, 
whatever, like the, 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 the MTG version of the Prince of the Popper. But I just love the art of this card, you know. It's also very flavorful, you know. If you read a lot of books, you're a book devourer. You are this beast just flying through those first editions of Avicus and the Urchin. I love this card. It's coming in at number six. It is a great card in Limited. I got it in my Commander deck. And all around, a beast of a bookmark. Taking the number five spot is Price of Knowledge. If you're a college student and maybe you go to Tularean Community College, then you know the prices of textbook these days makes you want to gouge out your eyeballs. So that's why Price of Knowledge is the perfect bookmark for any student. Price of Knowledge is six and a black for an enchantment that reads, players have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Price of Knowledge deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. And oh boy, this artwork is gruesome. This guy is struggling over the price of his textbooks. He's straight up like Oedipus right now, taking out his eyeballs, bleeding all over the pages. It, it's a horrifying sight, but if you ever had to buy college textbooks and you saw that checkout price, like you know exactly how this guy feels. He, he is struggling. For number four, we have Orcish Librarian. Orcish Librarian is one in red for a 1-1 one, one orc that reads red and tap. Look at the top eight cards of your library. Remove four of them, you see number four, <laughs> random from the game then put the rest on top of your library in any order so you might be noticing a trend of things eating books or destroying books or ripping pages from books and that's not to say that i do that in real life i just really love the art on these cards especially orcish librarian phil folio is one of the best magic artists out there his cards have so much character like look at this guy he's straight up eating this book he's chasing it down with some library pace you don't really get to see this kind of type of art in magic anymore it's kind of a shame but you know you can always use it as a bookmark because this card is uh pretty dooky i don't know who has ever used this before one man you can look at eight cards on top of your library that's pretty cool i mean you do exile four of them at random it could be your four best cards in your top eight and you're stuck with four lands but like that's pretty cool Let's get into the number three spot with Into the Story. Into the Story is a five and two blue instant that reads, this spell costs three less to cast if an opponent has seven or more cards in their graveyard. Draw four cards. This one's an open book because literally the artwork is of an open book. Someone is stepping inside into a story through an open book portal and I really don't need to explain why this is such a great bookmark. How better to jump into a new story with Into the Story as your new bookmark? Crawling all over the number two spot is Insidious Bookworms. Insidious Bookworms is one black for a 1-1 one, one summon worms that reads, one in a black, target player discards a card at random from his or her hand. Use this ability only when Insidious Bookworms is put into the graveyard from play. You cannot spend more than one in a black in this way each turn. All right, let's talk about the worms. These worms are insidious. I find them in every freaking book I own. Just imagine opening up your favorite book and- <laughs> If you're curious to know who's going to take the number one spot, then look no further than Curious Homunculus. Curious Homunculus is one in blue for a 1-1 one, one creature homunculus. It reads, tap, add one colorless to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are three or more instants and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, transform Curious Homunculus. So far, I'm already in love with this card. Homunculus is one of my favorite creature types in Magic. Their art is hilarious and super cute. But let's see what else this card does. After hitting the requirement of having three or more instants or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you can flip over Curious Homunculus into Voracious Reader. Voracious Reader is a 3-4 creature Eldrazi Homunculus with prowess that reads, Instances and sorceries you cast cost one less to cast. This homunculus turned into an Eldrazi and all it's doing is reading books. Like this is hilarious. This is the perfect bookmark for people who are juggling three or four books at a time. And it looks gorgeous in foil, like having a double-sided foil card in your book as a bookmark is, mm, it's just a treat. And there it is, the definitive top 10 best bookmarks in Magic's history ever, period. It's over, it's done. Maybe I miss your favorite bookmark. Maybe you use Fraxian Librarian or Sus Bookcase, or even maybe this ugly looking man on Library of Lang. Let me know what bookmark you use in the comments below.